Hi and welcome to My Outdoors. This is a film review for a film that's going to premiere at the Kendall Mountain Festival called The Longest Line. The film is uh, produced by Summit Fever Media. It includes the photographer Johnny Cook and the two stars of the film are Jenny Graham and Callum McLean. The film is based around the concept of the longest line between two sort of tarmac roads. That's a 44 mile distance across Cairngorm National Park. Covered that distance over four days. That kind of tells you how difficult that it is. Um, and, and that kind of feel uh, runs right through the film. When I first heard about this film or the concept of the film, it was I, I was actually quite excited about it. I do get that a lot of people feel like it was a bit of mundane and, 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 and it wasn't a big adventure. But this is actually, for me, it, it's quite a critical sign that there isn't a lot of space left for us on this island that we live on. So I was quite excited to see how they would interpret that into the film. What sounds like quite a simple adventure actually really isn't. Um, the pair end up on quite sort of really serious steep terrain, both up and down, and in some pretty serious bogs. The it does cause some pretty slow progress uh, and frustration, and 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 you'll see in the film that that uh, <laughs> there's a bit of falling over um, and a little bit of swearing, mainly by Callum. You can see the strain in the film uh, on the pair as they as they try to stay on the line. Um, and the frustration and, and really the, how it drains them. Now, walking in a straight line across a huge expanse of terrain, like I said earlier, is uh, a lot more difficult than it sounds. And I know when I go walking, I end up sort of meandering around and, and, and following a path. But there isn't a path on this one. It's, it's purely a straight line across the uh, the terrain that's marked for 44 miles. There is a, an interview with a guy called the Geo Wizard. I wasn't aware of the Geo Wizard, but uh, on checking his YouTube channel and uh, 1 million followers, he, he has done some pretty serious uh, cross-country trips, let's say. So he is well versed in, in how this kind of uh, endeavour works. He talks about the attraction of the line and, and how it can kind of consumes you. Um, so I suppose I get how the pressure that were on the pair to make sure that they stayed on that line and, and, and kept within their kind of own parameters of not straying. Um, and you see them go through some pretty rubbish terrain, jumping streams and, uh, and feet in bogs. The film is fairly short. It's only 15 minutes. Uh, but it's it, it's good and it's punchy and it uh, and it's all kind of relevant. It doesn't stray too far from the line. Um, the the concept of the film, being a summit fever media film, it does have some beautiful aerial footage. Um, uh, there's not too much of it, but it does showcase and and give a kind of clear view of the landscape that uh, that the two are trying to cross. Uh, Callum and Jenny are trying to cross, um, and and knowing the the area. Uh, like I do, it is a, a pretty serious undertaking. There is a lot of footage that uh, is filmed by the pair as they're walking, um, and also by the by the team as they're uh, as they're following behind or around them. And then there's a bit of talking head in there from both Jenny and Callum, um, which was looked like it was filmed after the event. So it does give sort of good context on how they they felt about the the adventure. Uh, and how they uh, how they had to t make sure that they stayed on the line and, and, and that was the focus. It allows the viewer to walk along um, with the adventure of what should be quite simple but actually isn't quite as straightforward as you might think. It is an uncomplicated concept. Walk in a straight line for as long as you possibly can and get to the other end. That's the goal and they achieve that. And I think the film does show, as I said, how how simple, but how frustrating, 
um, but how gratifying the, the whole process can be. Definitely if you get a chance to, to watch it when you're in uh, Kendall Mountain Festival or on the Kendall Mountain Player when, um, when it is released on there after it's premiered, if you get a chance to watch it, then, then give it a go. It's, uh, it's definitely worth, the, uh, worth your time. Thanks to Matt and Ellie at Southern Fever Media for uh, giving me a chance to, to watch this uh, before the event and um, hopefully see you at Kendall. That's been another film review for my outdoors. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the film and I'll catch up with you soon.